This is the Kuat double bike rack. If you want one, there's a link in the description. It's pretty basic, but also very, very nice. It is actually worth more than my bicycle, so this isn't actually mine. I know a guy who has one. You can see it rises up off the ground, so you do have a pretty good descent angle if you're driving a 4x4 or even just driving a car up and down curbs. The bicycle goes on and secures quickly in seconds. It's got a clicky click strap that you make it snap like that. And then in the front, there's a wheel grabber. You push down on it like this, clunk. And that's it. And then there is a locking cable you can run through the bike if you want to. Give it a little extra security so people don't grab it and run off with it. Uh, on the bottom side, you can see it adapts to big or small trailer hitches. And then there's a screw you can turn sort of in front of it there that increases the tension and keeps it from wobbling around. So on the back of my truck, it wasn't bouncing around at all. It was in there really tight, really secure. And we just strap down the back wheel and the back bike and then put the wheel grabber on the front wheel and just push it down to give it a little bit of tension. So it really is idiot proof. These two guys are idiots and they were able to put it on just fine. So don't worry about your, your smarts. You'll be able to handle this thing easily. And you can see there's this much room in between the bikes. So there's enough room to keep them from banging into each other when they're held down securely and they're, the trailer hitch is in there tight. So it doesn't really wobble around when I'm driving. And then when you're ready to take them out, it's a quick release there. And on this one, you just push down on that little button Sometimes you gotta whack it and it'll come right up. Your bike will fall down and scratch the paint on the other bike. So I would recommend holding the bike up with one hand when you take that, that wheel retainer off and that's it. Then you just lift it down. It is kind of a high lift getting it off of the truck, but I would take that just so that I have the extra ground clearance back there and I don't have to worry about banging into things. I'm going down curbs or jumping over rocks in my awesome Z71 Chevy truck. Taking the second bike off is the same deal. You can get a good idea of just how far it sticks out there. And when you fold it up, it's maybe a foot behind the bumper. It's, it's in there pretty tight, so you can still parallel park if you had to. And then at this point, it's time to come off. So we unscrew the tensioning device and then give it a little wiggle. And then the elderly shut-in that I borrowed it from takes it back and puts it in his garage and goes and hides in his attic until next time.